Hello, it's Arm Guy 101. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Well, I decided, since I'm in this fucking quarantine, to re do some rearranging, and well, I have this desk down in the basement, so I just brought it up here. It's some old ass computer desk from like 2000s or something from Ikea. I'm not sure where, but I think it's from Ikea. But still, I might as well do a re-review of a mask that I call it horrible. It's not really that horrible. I think I'm just going to re-review the Avon FM12, which I really did hate at the time. Like, I was stupid, essentially. Like, I was new to the gas mask game. I only had about, like, four masks when I got this thing. At the time, it was pretty stupid. And a child. Essentially, but now I'm older and ready to learn something. Now that I have like 30 ma- I think it was like 37, 38, I'm not sure how many masks I have. But I might as well just do a re-review of this thing because I have more information. I call the strap stupid, which nowadays I think of as my most regretful fucking thing ever, but still. Um, this is the review for the Avon FM12. The backstory behind this mask is, in the 1990s, like the late 90s, Avon was looking for an alternative to their S10 mask. Which, I don't want to grab my SF10, I'm too lazy to. So, pretty much, these masks were released, this got made, actually. At the same time, the S10 was being made, and this was supposedly their improved S10. So, like, if the S10 was like a prototype, this would become the new S10, but it's not. This is what they developed. To replace any of the S10 parts or whatever. This was usually released to like law enforcement. And then when the British were changing out their mat S10 masks, in like the we're talking like 2007, 2008, um, the British government with the GSR went with the GSR. And it sucked fucking horribly. It was made by Scott and well, let's just say they make cheap Chinese masks. And they're so so called they suck so bad they actually went back to Avon. And they never, they never went with this thing, but um, any foreign army, like I think it was the Dutch or the Netherlands or something like that, a bunch of foreign armies in Europe bought this thing as well as the police department in Britain. And I think uh, some police departments in the U.S. still use these things. But mostly it's used by CBRN units. If they cannot afford an MSA, MCU, not MCU, Millennium, sorry or any other CBRN mask, they would probably go with this. This is a much cheaper option of an S10 and a much more modern edition. Like, they are still manufacturing this thing. However, I should tell you, there are two variants. One variant is this one. This is the dual port version from 1999. The 90s one, you can see right there by timestamp. I don't know if you can see it. Probably to put in the light. Yeah, 1999. Which is dual port, as you can see. And now the newer ones, I think it's the newer ones, are only one ported, like the S10s, but they're making a regrettable, but it's like evolving, but backwards, essentially. But still, this is a mask that is immensely popular to this day. However, I've noticed something during this coronavirus pandemic. They're starting to run out. The surplus is running out, essentially, of these masks. And Avon still manufactures them, but... Uh, the ones that are in surplus, like police or military surplus, are running low. But also, it's the rare sizes. Like, this is a rare size 2. They're starting to get harder to find. Nowadays, you can only find size 1s and 3s, um, which are the unknown sizes. But the size 2 that's a medium is still immensely popular. So let's go over the mask. Um, all I have for the mask, the only accessory is an Avon canteen, but I don't know where it went, essentially. You have the long Avon adapter, but unlike the S10, which goes right here, essentially, this one goes way long. Like, around the damn thing. Like, usually. So that's a good thing. If I can get it fucking in there. Come on. Come on. There. You got a 40mm adapter, so this is actually for, so you can change out the ports. I'll demonstrate right now. Just screw that. Yeah, no um, hard to mess with parts, no tools required, just that. And it's kind of like the, it's much, 
better, essentially, than the U.S. masks. Let me just put that back over there. Because the U.S. masks require you to disassemble the entire valve assembly for the intake valve, and then attach it to the other side, and God knows what else, essentially. With this, you can just unscrew that in and put it in here. Like, I just, I'm doing this from experience, because my M40, like, the side voice emitter unscrews, but there's no valve or anything. It's just a hole, essentially. You got the valve, you got the eye hole, no, eyes, fuck, the lenses, fuck, I can't talk today, I'm fucking A, which you have the, both the eyes, and, well, they're actually much smaller than S10, you could not fit an ounce, you had to have a special one, which was a good thing, but in my opinion, the use of not using the S10 parts is pretty ridiculous, considering that they have tons of S10 parts, in my opinion, just my opinion. But it's fine, I mean, it's, it, you can see through it, it gets a lot closer. But I just didn't go, know why the hell they would not go with the S10 lenses, they're a lot bigger. But oh well, it's a mad decision. They got no ridge, meaning you got no chem suit ridge. In this place you have this uh, rubber thing, or it might be just my mask. Fabric head harness, which is actually much more nicer. Actually, but they only come in this mask for some reason. The rest of them, the, the M50s come in like a... Sort of a weird fabric ones on my SF10. You got the neck dam, like the chin dams. You can, you know, do a chin. You can seat your chin and don it more easier. You got a much better oral nasal cup that's actually more straight. You got a drinking tube. And this was actually my first mask with the drinking tube. Uh, the rest of them were just not having drinking tubes. And, you know, it actually works. And I just learned this this year. Um, you could take off this voice emitter to clean it, but I never did that. I but it's a really difficult process, kind of like the STF10, but or S10s at least. That's kind of weird. Now, this is what I was complaining about when I was a kid, you know, stupidly. That I said, "Oh, these hot harnesses, you just pull them and the fucking panic," you know. In reality, if you're trained enough to use them and not just a fucking dumbass like I was. You could just pull these two straps, which makes it more easier to don. I don't have any other accessories, it's the canteen. But I do have an S10 filter, which you'll see the mask soon. Hopefully, but this is the only filter that's official for it. The other fish filter I used on this was an old Israeli just gas mask filter. So, just average 40mm. You know, these masks are quite nice. Now, there's another variant, the CT-12, which has no drinking tube, and it's extremely rare. It's more rare than the STF-10. I'm going to say that now. It's more rare. I've only seen one on eBay. And that was only once. It was like a couple hundred dollars from, like, Serbia or something. So I'm guessing the CT-12, or Counterterrorism-12, yeah, you know, it's that, like, Special Forces-10, or Counterterrorism-12. Like, huh, I wonder where the FM-11 is. Oh, it probably doesn't exist now that I think about it. Either if it does, it's probably at Porton Down. Probably sitting on a shelf somewhere. Either at Avon headquarters. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Or maybe it doesn't exist. But I'm just making funny things. But, you know, I think this might have been a replacement for the S10 if the SAS or, you know, Special Forces or whatever use these masks. Which now the reason why they're issuing the police departments in Britain is because of drugs. You know, fentanyl, like, if you've never heard of fentanyl, it's a drug that even, like, a little bit of, like, assault grains can kill you, essentially. Like, maybe an overdose or something. And it's being in a lab, but worse yet, if you touch it, it'll kill you. But now this coronavirus pandemic, probably the officials are probably going to wear these now. However, there's no images of that surfaced of police wearing these, so eh, probably not. But the downside is barely any police got them in the Britain, or if that's even true, they probably had to have, like, particulate filters, which this is just a Spart S10 filter. So, yeah, that's about it for this mask. It's quite a nice mask. I like it. And it's definitely a contender for my CBRN kit, which I'm working on, as well as, if it would, the MSA Millennium. Like, I could have this or my Millennium. So, yeah, that's about it. See ya.